Something smells good in the kitchen. It does. It is President's Day, and it turns out what is being prepared is one of our president's favorite dishes. Who knew? Yes. Shrimp and grits. Sounds good to me. Yeah, why not? Our chef today, David Sims, is the owner executive chef of Eatable Delights. And he is here to prepare one of the president's favorite dishes. How do you know this is what the president loves? Well, uh, I did our research online and I actually mm -hmm. found out what all of the last three presidents, uh, their favorites were. And we actually decided to honor President Obama uh -huh. and Michelle on President's Day by doing some of their favorites. You said Clinton and Bush liked Mexican food. Clinton liked uh, chicken enchiladas uh -huh. and Bush likes Mexican food. All right. Yes. Okay. But today we're doing shrimp and grits. Yes, today we're doing a shrimp and grits. A meal fit for a president. Absolutely. This is a presidential size martini glass. Yes, it is. Full yes, of it is. grits. Yes, it is. What do you start with when you're preparing this? Well, one of the keys to doing grits, very important, is getting your water to the right temperature mm -hmm. and actually taking your butter. You can put the butter in there. All right. Do you want the water boiling or just short of boiling? Just short of boiling. Okay. Right? So a little I bit of salt, a little bit of pepper in the water. Salt? Yes, in right. the water. And a little pepper. A little pepper right oh, next to it. Oh, this is pepper? That's pepper. <laughs> so I said this week I was actually going to learn how to cook one of the dishes, okay. and I think it's going to be the grits. Okay. This is a, a fairly simple recipe. Fairly simple recipe. Um, grits is something that's traditionally known as a southern dish, mm -hmm. but grits has become something that lots of people have on lots of different, different recipes. You can find it on our website, um, Shrimp and Grits. And ah. grit, grits is a corn product. It's made from corn. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, which means it's healthy. It's good for you. All right, so we're waiting. Now, this is just kind of sitting around, almost simmering. Correct. Now, what do we do? Well, now we're going to actually add some of the grits. Gee, that's a lot of grits. It is a lot of grits, but we just want to show here for presentation. Seems to be uh -huh. a hole in your spoon. How about that? <laughs> I know. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Not with that spoon. Now, you're one kind of, of the, just kind of winging it as far as how much, how many grits to put in there. Well, uh, it, it's the consistency, how it is that you will actually like to have your grits. So right now but it you just have looks to kind of cloudy. Stir. You have to stir, and then do you add them as necessary? Add them as necessary. That is correct. What's the consistency I'm looking for? You're looking for something that's creamy and something that's thick. Because now like, it's water. Kind of like oatmeal? Correct. And uh, grits actually take about a good 15 minutes to cook. Oh, no so time. Uh, really? No time. That seems Wait, like a lot that, of time. No, what are you? You live in the I'm microwave world. I'm a microwave world. woman. Right. You okay. can microwave grits, by the way. I don't want to. I want to actually learn how to cook them. All right. Okay. Right. And grits is something, when I grew up in New York, that we had grits all the time for breakfast. Grits. But now, actually, you can serve grits as a dinner entree as well and it's absolutely fantastic. Especially on a cold day like today. Oh yes, it just warms and it sticks to you and it tastes really good. So okay, now, so the grits are going. Do we have to do anything going. for the shrimp? Yes, we do. We're going to saute the shrimp. Mm -hmm. We're going to turn it up to a medium heat. What do you have, just a little butter? A little, little bit of olive oil in it. Oh, a little olive oil. A little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. And what we've actually seasoned the shrimp with, we've made up a marinade and we've let it sit overnight. Really great marinade, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of Dijon mustard, some fresh garlic, as well as dry parsley. Oh, that's the, what was opening up my sinuses there. Yes, yes. That. Uh, garlic is something that you can use in many different recipes and it's just a delight. And mm -hmm. do you have to do it overnight? No, it doesn't, but the longer you let any sort of meat or seafood marinate, mm -hmm. the better it tastes. Okay. So we're actually just gonna sit this in here. So I would think something like shrimp, I mean, that would be easy to break down, So, it's, but it's okay to keep it in a marinade overnight. Yes, it is. All right. Yes, it is. And did you just put equal parts of the oil and the well, Dijon and the... We've actually right. done about a half a cup of uh, olive oil mm -hmm. and a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, mm -hmm. tablespoon of garlic, and some dry parsley. Dry parsley is just really used for color. All right. Not really for taste. Mm -hmm. And it starts sizzling. Shrimp, about four minutes on each side. All right. And you don't want to overcook shrimp because shrimp is something that is a tasty dish if it's not overcooked. When ah. it starts turning pink, then you know that it's done. Now, as a caterer, you know shrimp. You, I'm, I'm, I'd be surprised to hear that you don't use shrimp all the time okay. at Eatable Delights. Well, we use many different things at Eatable Delights. We use shrimp, we use salmon, tilapia, swai filet, shark, bass. This is just one of the things that we actually decided to feature today because it's our President Barack Obama's favorite dish. Wow, okay, and so when it turns pink, it's done. It's done. You don't have to do anything to the tail? 
You don't I'm have to really do anything to, to learn the, the tale is really more for the presentation. All right. Well, if, if well, you this have is the presentation just right, if the president shows up, well, we've got four places for it. Yes, to sit. we do. We've Look got one this. for the president, one for the first lady, one for Lori, and one for Bill. Oh, oh we're, not, we're invited oh, to that party. party. We're invited as well. Oh, that, we'll be in good company then. Look at that. Oh, it smells fabulous. And you put a little cheese in these as well, too, yes, right? Yes, exact like... smoked Gouda cheese mm. in the grits. Smoked it's Gouda in cheese. several of our recipes. We have it in a Dijon chicken salad. We also put it in the salmon cakes. Well, it smells. It smells good. Great, and it definitely definitely is an eatable delight. If you would like the recipe, we'll post it on our website, NBCPhiladelphia.com. Search 10 show recipes. You'll see it printed out. you see the video of David Sims putting it together. Fabulous. And everyone from our studio audience is getting a sample of cakes from Zana Cakes. Zana Cakes. Nice. Of eatable the audience is actually getting inside the bag uh, two of our signature recipes as well. There's actually a Dijon chicken salad as well as a hot penne pasta salad. Ooh, nice. So thank they're really you, being David. treated really nice today. David nice. Sims from Eatable Delights. David, thank you thank so you. much. Good thank job. You for us. All right, we're back with more of the 10 show right after this.